History is, as they say about baseball, a game of inches. Or in this case, history was literally a game of millimeters. How could that be that an election in a country of 300 million people comes down to millimeters on a flawed design of a ballot? Well, this is what they call the butterfly ballot machine. You can see that it was used in Palm Beach County on November 7th, 2000, the presidential election between George Bush and Al Gore. And of course, Al Gore's running mate was Joe Lieberman. And this is how people voted. They took one of these punch cards, they put it in, and they used this little pin to push a hole into that punch card and then take it out. Now, if you look closely here, you can see that hole number five represented here is how you vote for Al Gore and Joe Lieberman. But if you don't notice that there's a right side and you just see this left side and you see that it's the second one down, you could hit this by mistake. And if you did that, you voted for Pat Buchanan. Pat Buchanan, not known to be a great friend of the Jewish community, somehow got thousands of votes in Century Village in Florida where there are mostly Holocaust survivors. And, and, and so that is actually how it happened that those thousands of votes that accidentally, because of the ballot design, went to Pat Buchanan, and then other votes that uh, were hanging chads where it didn't punch through all the way and courts had to rule on individual ballots, they didn't get punched enough, it's a dimple chad, it's a hanging chad. It was an insane period of time. And that is how Joe Lieberman did not actually become Vice President of the United States.